today's feature is on the recent Hot Wheels Premium Car Culture and that's the Slide Street series. I know that many viewers have seen this in other channels, so I'll just go fast and sharp with my usual presentation and my take on each of the casting. Five castings in total are missing the Mustang, we have the Silver S14, the A86 Sprinter Trueno, the Toyota GR Supra, and also the Subaru BRZ in Falcon Racing livery. And now let's take a closer look at the Nissan Silvia S14. Very dynamic car art which shows the top view of the casting on all the cars. The design makes the casting stand out more inside the blister. Very dynamic and arresting livery. And we can see the Formula Drift livery is plastered across the casting. And this S14 will sit well with the rest of the Silvia for the Hot Wheels Premium series. And unlike other premium brands, Hot Wheels doesn't see the need for plastic lightings, etc. It's just all livery printing. The design are dynamic. I really like the 5 spokes wheel sets that rolls extremely well. It looks realistic and very presentable on this Silvia. The rear is just livery print without any additional details. And happy to add another Silvia casting into my Hot Wheels Premium Collection. Next, the Pandem Subaru BRZ in Falcon Racing livery. The Falcon livery no doubt sits very well with majority of the collectors. The Falcon team color is very accurate and the Subaru BRZ looks very presentable in the package. Likewise, only livery printing. We can see some details there. The wheel sets rose extremely well and this BRZ looks very presentable with a Falcon tire body wrap. The Grady logo is very visible in reverse white with the Grady logo on the license plate. What's really missing here is just the side mirror but overall a very striking casting. Next, the Pandem 20 Toyota GR Supra in Grady Racing livery. Likewise, the casting stands out against the backdrop Looks very presentable with the stunning white wheels. The whole casting looks very clean cut and polished. Although it's just all livery printing but there are some details. And similar to the rest of the casting, the design is equally striking and stands out within the range. Highlight is definitely on the wheel sets. It looks realistic and it comes in white which is very complementary to the body color. Detailed livery printing for the rear and the overall casting looks equally presentable when compared with the rest. Next, the Toyota A86 Sprinter Trueno in Toyota Racing Development livery. One of the very nice car art. I'm sad to break it out of the package but it has to be done. Very happy to free up a 86 on the premium. I never did that for the Boulevard series because I do not have a spare. I think Tomica also come up with an A86 TRD exclusive years ago. The Tomica livery is also equally impressive when compared with the Hot Wheels. Although it's just livery printing that follows the color and brand of the TRD, the A86 looks unique. The wheel set is smaller as compared with the rest of the casting and it also sits lower. Because of initial D, the A86 has become sort of the cult in the car culture series and being an initial D fan, which I collected a couple of A86 on my Tommy car, the Hot Wheels version is also definitely a must have. Very happy to add this slight street casting to my collection. Stay tuned for more Hot Wheels features and remember to like, share and sub to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.